This is a subject we've well covered before, but we're getting a lot of questions right now, specifically related to socks and footwear. Uh, Chuck and Logan and Ashton are all asking about it. Uh, they want to know, do you wear kilt hose if you're going casual with sneakers? What kind of socks can you wear with a casual kilt? And more specifically, do you recommend kilt hose for more casual use, like you guys wearing a t-shirt and a golf shirt, respectively? Right. Um, I, I kind of draw the parallel for the, the, the kilt hose and, and, and shoes um, to the rest of the outfit. Imagine, you know, you know, replace kilt with pants. So, not, not physically, don't do that. Pants are horrible. <laughs> um, replace the word kilt with pants. If you're wearing a polo and a pair of khakis, what kind of shoes would you wear? What kind of socks would you wear? If you're wearing sneakers, I'd say cotton crew socks, you're fine. If you're wearing dress shoes, then I'd say probably a pair of kilt hose and a pair of wing and a pair of uh, a set of flashes. Um, shirt, it, it's kind of it should balance out the outfit. It should look like it goes with the rest of the outfit. When I'm wearing a polo shirt, typically I'm wearing sneakers and cotton crew socks. Occasionally I'll wear kilt hose and a pair of wingtips or a pair of uh, ghillie brogues or whatever. Um, in that instance, it's fine. If you're going to dress up a little bit more than that, a dress shirt, then I'd say, yes, uh, a pair of kilt hose, a pair of flashes, and a set of wingtips or, or ghillie brogues. Yeah, my everyday is, is sneakers and low-cut socks. Um, polos is kind of the thing that is a gray area. Could go either way, you, yeah. Because yeah, if, I mean, if I'm in here wearing my polo, I'm wearing the low-cut socks and sneakers. If we go to a festival or if we're You're going, also working. Yes. Yeah. If we're going to a festival or if we're going out on a little bit nicer dinner or we're going out to dinner, more than likely I'm going to wear kilt, or kilt hose, probably my day brogues in that instance, or, or ghillies, depending on where you're going what you have. Tend to see more. I'd probably wear my day brogues more ever, overall, but ghillie brogues will work just as fine with that. Um but yeah, for the most part, if I'm wearing sock, wearing sneakers, it's low cut socks. Yeah, I'd agree with that. The uh, if I'm doing something manual labor, I'll probably end up a little bit dressed down. Therefore, probably sneakers and low cut socks. Um, the two, it, it's kind of as you kind of alluded. The the weird uh, uh, parallel is not only what are you doing the physical activity, but also the shirt and making sure you're. It's, it's, well, it's, I don't think it's weird. Never mind. I'm, I'm taking back the weird bit. Um, you're, I tend to balance my knee to ankle or knee to toe with my waist to top of head. So if I'm wearing something casual up top, casual on the bottom. If I'm wearing something dressy on the, dressy on the top, dressy on the bottom. The two things that I would say were kind of fall in the gray area are polo shirt, and an Oxford shirt, the the button down mm -hmm. collar USA kilts shirts that we wear on the show sometimes. Yeah, um, those can go either way. You can dress it up a little bit, or you can dress it down mm -hmm. with a pair of sneakers. Again, it that what I would say there is it really it really matters more the function that we are at. Yeah. So if I'm at a festival or something like that, versus a dinner, or if I'm working in the in the shop. In like making kilts that day versus in the store that day in front of customers wanting to dress up a little bit, makes sense. Except for when you're working on machines, because you're always dressed. Oh the, Jesus! You're God. always dressed uh, the, your best when we're working on machines. It no matter what <laughs> happens, I will I will come to, to to work in a tux. It won't matter. I'll come to work like dressed to the nines. That's the day the machines break and mm -hmm. Mac can't fix it. He is very very handy. Like if I know if Mac can't fix it, I know I'm in for something. So he'll he'll be like, "Hey, I'll, I'll it'll be time for the show. I'll have my my vest on, <laughs> dress shirt, even a tie. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll be like, oh, 'I'm feeling good about my outfit today. Hey, Rock, machine broke. Can you go ahead and fix that and get oil all over yourself if you don't mind? That'd be awesome. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. That's my luck. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So that's the foot hose that we'd wear." Or the foot, the footwear, <laughs> footwear that we'd wear while fixing sewing machines when I'm dressed. I don't know. I don't know how to end that. I'll leave that there.